I wish somebody would just forget about the person sitting beside them. Forget about the person that's standing beside you. And just give God some praise. God have mercy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm so glad to tell. Hallelujah, hallelujah. With my soul to swell. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Again, 
It's time for prayer. Bow your heads with me. Our God, eternal Father, King and ruler of this entire universe, of which this earth and its inhabitants, inhabitants is just a speck before your awesome throne. Father, every now and again we forget that we need to give you number one priority in our lives. And from time to time you have allowed some things to happen to arrest our attention and to draw us back before your presence. We pray today that for all our failures, for all our sins, you will forgive. We ask right here, right now, that your Holy Spirit will draw close to every last one of us in this assembly. Bring back to mind the importance of every one of us having that important relationship with you. We pray that as we meet in this fashion, you will bless the days proceeding, grant that all that is said and done will meet your divine approval. And every now and again, Father, we ask that you will remind us that the time is coming when each of us as individual will have to stand to give an account before your judgment bar. Against that background, we pray that you will help us to apply our hearts unto wisdom and in all our doings let us not forget thee but to put you first i commit this devotional exercise into your holy hands pray now that you will do for us far more than we are able to ask think or imagine and i ask that you will saturate the hearts of your children here today grant that every Thing done here will meet your divine approval. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mr. Dodd, for that prayer of blessing upon our school and upon our students. At this time, we will move right into our scripture reading. This will be taken from Philippians 4, verse 1 to 8. And it will be done by Ethan Duncan, our head boy, and Adeniki Kennedy, our head girl. Please welcome them at this time. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, I long for it. my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech your dear and beseech saints that they may be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with the men also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, and I and again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Here ends a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Amen. We have just heard from the words of God. And one thing we know is that the word of God is God himself. And so whenever we hear the words of God, 
we should give reverence to our Creator. We are moving further in our program at this time, and I'll invite Kristen Williams from A3, who will come with an item. Kristen Williams. Students, please be quiet and listen. Come on, put your hands together for your classmate as she talks. Come on. Give her a little encouragement. Give her a little encouragement. Give her a little encouragement as she talks. Come on, let her make her feel motivated. Come on.
Amen. Amen. Let us put our hands together again for Kristen William for that wonderful song. And she reminded us, greater is he that is in you, the nurturing spirit. The spirit that nurtures excellence is in you. And it is greater than every other spirit that is in the world. But we should praise the name of the Lord. At this time, we are going to go straight into our motivational speech. And I'm going to invite Mr. Griffiths to introduce our guest speaker for today. Please welcome Mr. Griffiths. Pleasant morning again, Green Island High School. Come on, I can't hear you. Good morning, Green Island. Good morning, Richard All right. I was about to say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. One of my favorite verses in the Bible. So what if you know what I used to do? I am redeemed, but not by silver. I am redeemed, but not with gold. This morning, our speaker is a man of God who needs very little introduction he's not one who considers himself lofty or in need of any exorbitant accolades all he wants to do is to impart the word of god and to touch lives through the word of god he's a believer in the grace of god and that it is by faith in jesus christ that you are saved please put your hands together and give a Green Island High School welcome to no other person than Pastor McLeod, in Jesus' name. Just before Pastor McLeod comes, may I ask those two students who are seated, okay, thank you Mr. Griffiths. Yeah. 
we know what I would win. Was I on my God, not coming back in love? should speak something. Yeah, that's right. Renata, you got visitors. I don't need to see all of what some of you doing. Just check to give the person beside you their misbehavior and the nod and say, be here the self, be here the I said gently, I said gently. I said gently. All right. Okay. So let's set it down, Green Island. Green Island, I know you can do it. Please. Please. Green Island. Green Island. Behave yourself. No. I really and truly I came to have church today. I didn't know that I was a motivational speaker. So I have to switch for just now. And it's a good thing that God is who he is to me. And therefore he equips me for my assignment. Last night when I was preparing my stuff, I said I'm going to have an icebreaker. And the icebreaker is a story. Now you got to listen keenly. I wanted to bring prizes and surprises, but uh, I was running late so I couldn't bother. So listen keenly. The story is being told, or uh, it is a fact, scientists will, uh, will back me up, that the flea, that the flea, based on its size, it is supposed to jump higher than a skyscraper. A flea. Come on, you know flea. Cat flea, dog flea, horse flea, yeah? You know flea. Based on its size and how high it's able to jump, if it were, say, a human, it would be able to jump a skyscraper. That's a multi-level building. Very, very tall. Taller than the two stories that they have here. Now, some scientists ran an experiment on the flea. And they put the flea in an aquarium, which about, say, was two feet high. And covered 
the lid, the opening of the aquarium. And the flea release the flea in there, and the flea always, because he knows that it can do it, kept on jumping. But because there was a lid on top of the aquarium, guess what? Each time the flea jumped, it would hit his head. And so after several tries, guess what? Each try they would hear the flea actually hitting its head on top of the lid. After a while they didn't hear, they didn't hear the sound of the flea. Are you listening? They didn't hear the sound of the flea hitting its head against the lid anymore. But when they looked in through the glass, the flea was jumping still. The flea had learned to adapt itself to the point where it was feeling pain and so therefore it started to jump beneath the barrier. So much so was the flea condition that they took the lid off and guess what? The flea that can jump higher than a skyscraper or as way, way up. Guess what? When they removed the lid he still was jumping at that level. It had freedom. The lid was off. But because he was conditioned, because of pain, because of experience, he didn't even recognize that the lid was off. I can jump to freedom. What I'd like to ask you today, who is holding you back? Who is holding you back? Because like that flea, you have the potential, and I like the motto, to excel. But something is holding you back. You were born with the potential. I, I, I think I'm at a certain level. With the ear just concerned, I think I can, I can see. You were already born a winner. Out of over a couple thousand sperm cells, you were the one that won. You were the one that came in first where that egg was concerned. So guess what? You were born a winner. Tell somebody beside you, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. Oh, come on, you don't believe it, but that's why you're already defeated. This school, the motto cannot be excellence and we not see it be manifested. That's right, sir. You were born a winner. Yes, when that sperm cell left your daddy, there were thousands of them. But guess what? You were the one that won the race. And so you are born a winner. But something like the lid on that aquarium, like the flea, something is holding you back. And you gotta identify what that is. Anybody knows what is holding you back? Yes. Somebody said yes. Who? Your mother? <laughs> Anybody else? Your haters, your father. Anybody else? Yes. 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 You. You are your biggest cheerleading squad. And any time you stop motivating yourself, that's when everything falls to the ground. I tell my students, because yes, I am a teacher, work at Food Technical High School. Yeah, I'm on leave, that's why I'm out here. <laughs> yes, I tell my students, the first thing, I teach A-level biology. So when I get inside here, follow one and a half week, I don't teach. We rap, we get to know each other. And after I'm done talking to them, guess what? I don't have I don't have much disciplinary problem because we understand each other. That's right, 
We set rules together. We get to know each other. We know what what's each and each of us boundaries. And I tell them one thing. Is that look here. We are all here to do some sort of exam. And I'm talking about the major one. And that is CXC. And I think I'm, I'm going to cut it short. When CXC is sending out your exam, do they send a different exam paper than up the road? You know the Russians people, the road people up the road? From the, from the Russians, or I think which other one is down there? Road talk. Do they send a different paper to these schools? Do they send a different paper to Manning's? Do they send a different paper to Glenville? KC, Campion. No. They don't say. So, what is that saying of the expectation of you? Is that you are able, just like any of the so called top of top schools, to do just as well? But what is holding you back? What is holding you back? You know, last night I was when I was doing that stuff, and, and, and look at that. Even though some persons were told, don't turn your back. See a person there, he is holding back himself. Yes, sir. Because discipline kind of lacking with him. He's holding back himself. They don't sign a different paper. They don't. Because guess what? They expect that Green Island High students have the same potential and can and can demonstrate the same effect, the same damage they can do to the paper, like anybody from the JC and the Glenmore and the so-called top of that school. Green Island students can do it, but there is somebody holding you back. You are not motivating yourselves enough. There's a lid over you. That you have hit your head so hard on. Till even now it is removed in this fine institution. And you don't even recognize it. You're still walking as if there's something holding you down. And guess what? It is you. It is you. It is you. And green on. Let me tell you something. Lift your hands to God. Lift your hands to God. I make a pledge this morning that I'm going to do better. Oh Lord, that's so weak, Green Island. Lift your hands to God and say, God, I'm going to do better. No, you see, no, just keep up your hands. Look around and look at those people whose hands are not up. It's not good company material because guess what? They ain't probably going nowhere. I'm here to push somebody to excel. And you gotta choose your friends wisely. Choose people who are going in the same direction as you. Choose people who know that not even the sky is the limit. But I have all the potential to do. Green Island, you can take all your hands. Because I think you know which company to keep now. And even for those who, even for those who did not raise their hand, I'm pushing you. I'm pushing you. I'm telling you, this is the place where the lid can come off. And the world can be your playground. No, no, just, 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 just right now. I'm going to ask you to do something else. I'm going to ask you to fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Are you with me? I'm going to start the sentence and you're going to fill it. You're going to put in your name and I want you to say out loud, confess. What you want, <laughs> what you want to be. All right, so here I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start to say, My name is, oh Lord, Green Island, Green Island, Green Island, Green Island. Let's do that one more time. Instructions 
I am going to give you the sentence and you're going to fill it in and you're going to put in your name and you're going to say what you want to be as I proceed with the sentence. My name is and I will be a let's do that again. My name is and I will be a one more time, one more time. And I need you to do it with lusto and gusto, all right? Let everybody hear, right? My name is... And I will be a... All right, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Now, if I had more time, I'd talk to you. But just remember this. The next time you go to the class, stop blame teachers for not finishing your syllabuses. You got sense. I know you do. The way you handle your phones, it shows that you have even more sense than me. And guess what? Get your syllabus. Get you use some YouTube. Get you a good textbook. And let your teachers be prepared to experience you when they get to that class. All right? All right? Let your teachers be prepared. Force them to become prepared to experience the new you when you get to class. Saturate me in your anointing. Saturate me in your presence. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, O oh Lord, today. Come on and help me sing. Saturate me with your anointing. Saturate me in your presence. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, O oh Lord. invite somebody to become a child of God. I have to. I know I've been a little bit over, but I have to. Now Romans 5 verse 1 says, be justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that word there, justification, it's a legal term that means to be declared righteous before God. Now, which one of you don't want to be declared righteous before God? Oh Lord. And so, because of what Jesus did, he died for all of your sins. He was our, our sin sacrifice. And so all the sins of the ages he paid the price for. And so that is why God can look at any one of you this morning and declare you righteous. And it's for that reason that no law can come against you because there's nothing to condemn while you are in Jesus. And so right now, right now, and I know that I mean, I've been mean talking to everybody, but not just that one person. Because Jesus said, you don't believe Paul's wife. You are not my sheep, even children. So just that one person this morning. Within your heart, say, Lord, I yield to you. I want to become justified. I want to become righteous. Because there's a judgment day coming. And guess what? Hell will never go down there. So right now, where you are, even amongst those that are talking constantly, 
believe our Lord, God is right there. I'm just asking you now to invite him into your hearts. Just take one minute. One minute, bow your heads everywhere. I say, Lord, I invite a shire. I invite you into my life. This day will be a witness against you, Green Island. Yes. Can't say you were never given the opportunity to become the righteousness of God. So right now, starting now, take a minute. The minute starts now and invite God into your life and say, Jesus, I'll go with you wherever you lead me as of today in the name of Jesus. The minute starts now. Invite the Lord into your life. Oh Jesus, hallelujah. 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 Oh Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, run through this crowd, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The minute is headed. If you have invited Jesus into your life, just give a round of applause and say, Thank you, Jesus. I have a hope. Don't lie before the Holy Spirit right now. Just say, Thank you, Jesus. I almost forgot. But why the meditation last night? Talking about leaks. Maybe one or two of you were raped. You need to see the guidance counselor because you need to take that lead off your life. That's what came into the spirit last night. You were raped. And it probably happened yesterday, even, or the day before. But you're struggling with that particular situation. You have got your teachers. Yes. Find them. Talk to them. You gotta, you gotta lose that lead yes. and become press on to excellence in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Green Island. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Madam Principal, all the other teachers, colleagues. God bless you, Green Island, for having me. In the name of Jesus. My man, my my man, my man, my 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 man.
afternoon, everyone. It is indeed a great pleasure for us to be charged today to take our lids off for ourselves. That is my takeaway. Personally, I have my own lids that I have placed over my head. I have my own fears. I have my own anxieties. I have my own doubts. But I am sure today we were all charged to face our giants and be our best cheerleaders. And it is on that note I would like to say the heartiest gratitude to our motivational speaker for today, Pastor L.C. McLeod, who was taking time out at a very short notice to be with us. Let me hear you give up a round of Green Island High School applause. Pastor McLeod, thank you, sir, for joining us. And I will be looking forward to hearing from you again. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. The devotion is not over as yet. We have with us today the chairman of the board of management for this school, Mr. Donovan Hamilton. And at this time, he will be coming with a charge to you, for you. Please make him welcome at this time. Madam Principal, Mr. Speaker, Vice Principals, teachers, staff, students, good afternoon. I know you're tired, are you? Yes. I know, I know. You have been standing long enough. And so I am going to speak to you for just two minutes. Two minutes. Um, you're very privileged to be in school at this time. Because there are many persons who would love to be in school now, but can't. And recently, we were thrust into the spotlight, and for the wrong reason. Today, I want to encourage each student here to make an effort to be your brother's and your sister's keeper. Try and help somebody along the way. And if you see somebody who needs guidance and you can give that guidance, please do not hesitate so to do. If you see a student becoming angry, aggressive, or agitated, and if that student is your friend, I am going to ask you, I am going to beg you to reach out to your friend and take him away take her away and go to a teacher, go to your guidance counselor, go to your principal, go to somebody. But I want us at Green Island to start making that effort to calm ourselves down, to make this space one of the safest places that you can find yourselves as students. Students, I want to encourage you today not to allow the things you cannot do prevent you from doing the things that you can. And Martin Luther King once said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But he says, for God's sake, don't stop moving. Hold your head high, each of you. Stick your chest out. And be proud, because indeed dark days will come, but joy comes in the morning. Be proud of, the, of yourselves, be proud of your institution, and, and just make the best effort to make your school the best in Hanover, the best in Jamaica, indeed, the, the very best school in the world. Keep on working hard, do your best, respect each other, Crown yourselves with integrity, with courtesy, with respect, and with good, positive values. God bless you, and enjoy the rest of your stay here, and be patient, be loving, 
be respectful and be kind one for another. Thank you. Thank you. Just heard from your chairman. And at this time, I'm not going to hold you any longer. We will be hearing from our principal, who will be coming with her address. Two minutes, Madam Principal. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of Green Island High School. Good afternoon to my students. Good afternoon to my students. Before I say anything else, let me say to you, I love you. In the interest of time, let me welcome you to school after being away for approximately two years. And I say that against the background that this is the very first time we are meeting like this for school. I miss this. This is what we were accustomed to before the pandemic. And so, I want to say to you that I appreciate the fact that you have stood together and you have listened, and although some of you have been restless, we understand and we just want to let you know that if you continue to raise the flag of excellence high, then I'm sure there will be those persons out there who will ensure that we get an auditorium, a multi-purpose space, where when we have functions like these, you will be able to sit in comfort and listen and be nourished. Ladies and gentlemen, since March 7, we have noticed that there are some schools of which we are a part who have changed the image of their schools with the kind of conflicts that lead to fights and the fights that have been fatal. Much of what I would have said this morning has been intertwined in our speakers ahead of me. And so I am asking that from where you are, that you have to ensure that you build the image of your school again. I believe in the power of students. Since years ago, we went through a transition from a place that was not a school of choice so much, and students did it. Students brought back excellence to Green Island High. And we believe that this group of students can do that again. So, come to school prepared. When you come, there should be no idling outside of classes. There should be no sculling of glasses, thank you. There should be no smoking of ganja. There should be no drinking of any kind of alcohol. There should be no fights. There should be no unintelligent behavior. And if we are wise, then one word to the wise is sufficient. I am talking now and there are a number of students who are talking. And so I can just imagine what goes on in the classroom. I am asking you at this time, 
that you recognize the importance of having your teachers, the persons who will shape you for life. To my staff, members, colleagues, I want to say a big thank you for the work you have done. To the support staff, and in particular those who work at the gates, let me say a big thank you to you all. To those who work on the grounds, and I want to say to you students, you are some of the best set of students I've ever come across because our grounds are not as dirty as they used to be. Clap yourself. Clap yourself, man. Come on, clap yourself. So you have helped to keep the order and the decency around here. I'm going to ask you at this time to recognize your vice principals and teachers with a loud round of applause. Come on. Do it again, do it again, keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> Teachers, thank you. And so, my students, we are living in troubled times. But do not allow the influences around you to cause you to have that lid on you that you'll never rise to excellence. Be your own selves. Do your very best and raise the flag of Green Island High School high. We expect great things of you and I'm sure you expect great things from us. We want to say to you today, if we have wounded you, if we have hurt you, if we have said anything wrong to you, if we have shown an attitude to you that you don't like, please forgive us and we'll make amends. And if we do, we expect the same from you. Remember, excellence all the way in all that you do or think or say and from me to you I love you God bless you we will talk again in the name of Jesus thank you thank you Madam Principal for that address two minutes address and let me say thanks to you, the students and staff of Green Island High School, who were well behaved, most of you, that is. And at this time, we are going to bring the curtains down with the singing of our school song, Green Island High. All right, students, let us stand where we are as we tune our voices in singing our school song. Those boys who are walking along multi-purpose. Oh, my God. 